in both Pro Show Gold and Producer, when you add an image to a slide, the scaling setting you choose helps determine exactly how the image will fit within the slide. In Slide Options, go to the Layer Settings tab. You'll find the scaling options down here in the Layer Setup pane. Let's take a look at how each option affects an image when added to a slide. The first option is Fit to Frame. This is the default for ProShow. This scaling option makes sure that regardless of the size or aspect ratio, your entire image will fit within the slide's frame when the zoom value is set to 100%. When using Fit to Frame, you'll often see part of your background. In this case, you can see that the background is visible on either side of the image. The next scaling option is Fill Frame. This setting increases the size of the layer so that it fills the entire slide frame. As you can see, when this scaling option is selected, the background is now completely hidden and there is no blank space surrounding the image layer. Be careful when using Fill Frame as it may cause parts of your image to not be visible. For example, when adding a portrait photo, the Fill Frame setting often hides faces, requiring you to reposition the image. The third option is Stretch to Frame. Chances are you will not use this very often. Unlike the other two options, Stretch to Frame will adjust the proportions of your image so that it fits exactly inside the slide frame. Often this can cause your images to become distorted. It's best to use Stretch to Frame with images that won't suffer from distortion, such as abstract backgrounds. The final two scaling options are only needed when you're using a safe zone to help build a show. To see the safe zone, right click in the slide options preview and then select show safe zone. Using this border as a visual guide can help you estimate what parts of a slide frame might be cut off if your show is viewed on a projector or an older television set. When you set the scaling to fit or fill your layer within the safe zone, Instead of using the entire slide frame, you limit the scaling to the size of the safe zone. Chances are the majority of your shows will either use fit to frame or fill frame scaling. But check out the other options and see what works best for you.